I want to send you greetings on this Good Friday. And first of all, our number one question. Why did they call it Good Friday when they crucified Christ? Because of this. Matthew 28, verse 6. He is not here. He is risen. As he said. Have you ever had a terrible day? A terrible day that turned good later? Where you looked back, it turned so good, you looked back on it and said, thank God that this happened. I've had many people talk about their crucifixions in life where someone said to them, I don't love you anymore, I want a divorce. And they're absolutely crushed and then later on they thrived and they succeeded in wonderful ways. This has happened to people that follow Christ and it happens to people that follow Christ perhaps easier because they have that faith. They have that faith that God has their back and God's going to make it all right. People have been through bad marriages bad businesses, bad careers, or a home life that is not great. Maybe things happened. I know a lot of my friends here in Texas had floods happen and power outages, and it was in the dead of winter. And yet everything has turned out wonderfully. Those homes that were damaged during the hurricane several years ago. Perhaps they had insurance and they got new roof or a whole new wing of their home. Positive Christianity loudly declares that we are Easter people. We are defined not by our crucifixions but by our resurrections. A lot of Christians define their whole Christian life on the crucifixions, on what they've been through, on the sorrows and the sadness. But there is more. There is much more to life. And God gives us the more. Well, on Good Friday, to all appearances, it was the end. To all human senses, it was the worst of humankind that seemed to be victorious. But it was good because there was more. It was just the darkness before the dawn, the dawn of awakened humanity. There is one obscene word in the vocabulary of a Christian, and that word is hopeless. Nothing is hopeless with God. God turns all things around, makes all things better. No matter how bad it seems in the moment, God can take over, and when God takes over, good things are going to happen. Many of us have had those Good Friday experiences in our lives when we believe that all is lost. And then we look to God, and we find God and our lives are resurrected into a newness. There is new hope, there is new belief in tomorrow, and new gladness to be alive. I wish you a happy Good Friday in the knowledge of a loving God that is with you, everywhere present and accessible to you and available to you, no matter where you may be, or what you may now face, God is with you. Join me in prayer. Dear God, when something looks dark and hopeless in my life, help me to have faith in a new and a better tomorrow. When I'm going through something that seems so unfair, lead me to fairness. I pray you will resurrect my life, touching those conditions 
that seem to be ending. Thank you, God. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.